varsity game between the visitors, the North Miami Lady All Warriors. right, well, let's talk some starting lineups. Starting with our visitors, the Lady Warriors, they will be starting number one, Victoria Masters. Number 10, Lady Musel. Number 11, the aforementioned Emily Smith. Number 21, Caden Donaldson. And number 30, Caden Hanley. A freshman, number 21, Caden Donaldson. And a senior, number 30, Caden Hanley. The Lady Warriors are coached by Lori Working. All right, and now your Lady Comets. We're starting number four, Macy Henderleiter. Number 11, Isabel Scales. Number 12, Alexa Finke. Number 13, Addison Zimpleman. And number 22, Maddie Douglas. And once again, we look forward to the post game uh, with Coach Douglas coming up and giving us a talk, letting us know what it looked like from the coach's point of view at the end of the game. And again, we're hoping for a happier interview than what we had a week ago. A senior number 13, Addison It was definitely the longest we've had to wait on in the interview from him. Yeah, and even at that though, it wasn't as long as what one might have anticipated. I'm certainly hoping that that served as a, a, a bit of a wake-up call for the ladies uh, to, to make sure they guard their intensity in the first quarter. Um, that's something we've, we've mentioned on air several games, is that that first quarter intensity is sometimes lacking, and it, it's led to situations um, where the girls were in a, a tougher fight than they needed to be as the game wore on. And unfortunately, last week it just went completely bad for them. Lady Warriors get the tip. She's going to step over. That's going to give the ball right back to the Lady Comets. Well, that's not the way that uh, Lady Warriors coach would have wanted the game to start. It's an interesting way to start the game, that's for sure. Now Zimpleman will bring it up for the Lady Comets. Douglas, far side. Looks like the Lady Warriors running a zone and one harassing Scales. And Scales trapped in the corner. She's going to give it to Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter drives. She puts it up off the mark. Finky with the rebound. She'll put it in for two, though. Now Lady Comets with a press. Lady Warriors break it. Now Smith, near side. She'll dump it into the post. Shot off the mark. Rebound by Donaldson. That's going to be a jump ball. Lady Comets possession. Two possessions, two turnovers. I'm sure that'll be discussed at the first time out. Especially the first one. That was just a mental mistake. Yeah, you always have to be cognizant of where that timeline is. Well, okay, all the bounds. Lady Warriors playing a tough defense. They're going to give it into Zimplin in the post. They're going to give it back to Hinderleiter. Douglas, far side. She's going to get her pass tipped, but Hinderleiter will pull it down. Great athleticism there by Macy Hinderleiter, correcting that potential mistake. Passing it. Scales, she'll roll around. She's going to get a block foul there. I was looking for a travel on that, Pete. I'm not going to... Not gonna lie. Foul there actually went to number 21, Caden Donaldson. That'll be her first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Yeah, I definitely thought that was gonna be a travel. But Lady Collins have the ball, passed down into the post, kicked out. Now Scales Ooh, tying up with it. She'll pull it out though. Scales drives, floater off the mark. It's gonna be out of bounds, out off of number 30. Caden Hanley. Lady Collins ball still. Passing to 
Zimpelman. Surprised that Addison didn't just go straight up with it there. We're going to get a three second violation here. Yeah, Zimpelman could have went up with it and probably drawn a foul, but she kicked it out and now Lady Warriors have the ball. Hanley drives, kicks, shot on the way. That'll be good by number 10, Laney Musel. Hendra Ladder, new wing. She drives, floater on the way, she'll flat, get fouled. She'll be going to the line for two. Foul there on number 21, Donaldson drawing her second. That was an obvious foul too. Her her hand was right right in between the interlighters. First free throw off the front of the iron. Really flat on that shot. No, there was not a lot of arc. Lady Warriors lead three to two with two minutes gone in the first. Second free throw does fall, tying the score up. Much better shot arc on that. Musil gets it down into Hanley. Pass tip, not enough to do anything with it though. Lady Warriors setting up the offense here. Man to man defense by the Lady Comets. Hanley three on the way, that one falls. Something similar to the uh, Tri-County game left the too many good shooters wide open. Douglas near wing, she'll kick to Hinderleiter in the corner. She'll kick down in the post. Zimpleman drives, wow. puts it up for two. Musil, or nearly stolen away by Fanky. Hanley drives, she'll dribble out of bounds. Great defense here by the Lady Comets. Pure determination there, forcing the third turnover on the Lady Warriors. Averaging one turnover a minute. Zumpelman kicks to Douglas. Corner for Hinderleiter. She'll pass it down into the post. Scales covered up by two. How did that make it. its way to Zimpleman? No idea. Hinder Zimpleman almost took that. She'll pass to Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter spins. Puts that up for two off the mark. Finky loses it, but Hinderleiter will get it back and she'll put that little jump shot from the block in. Press broken. Donaldson can't hold the pass and she'll step out of bounds as she tries to save it. Annie Harsh checks in for the Lady Comets. Musil will pick up Scales at the half court. Harsh to Hinderleiter, far side. Zimpleman. Harsh drives, baseline. Shot up and good. Musil kick tries to kick it to Hanley. Harsh will get the pass though. Lady Comets with possession. Zimpleman three on the way. That one falls. Those were the kind of shots not falling for the ladies a week ago. Masters for three, that one's just off the mark. Almost banked it in. Harsh gets the rebound. Harsh for three, that one's in, out. Didn't get that one to fall. Smith gives it to Musil, Musil will pull it out though. Give it back to Smith. Masters back to Smith. Lady Warriors slowing it down. I think that was a good plan there. Hanley three on the way. That one's just too long. Finky with the rebound. That was a deep three. Hinderleiter taking it all the way. Shot off the mark, but way too much on that one. Now Smith 
Almost gets trapped. Lady Warriors moving the ball up quick. Musil, jump shot on the way off the mark. It's going to be tipped out of bounds off of Alexa Finke. Number three, Olivia Thomas. Olivia and Thomas and Maddie Douglas in for the Comets. Smith to inbound. She'll lob it up to Donaldson. Donaldson will put that up off the mark. Good thought there by the Lady Warriors. Just couldn't get it to work. Now Douglas drives. Had an open Thomas, but she'll put that one in for two. 14-6. Lady Comets lead with two to go in the first. Warriors break the press. Masters to Smith to Musil. Deep Shot three. On the way off the mark. Too, put too much on that one. Donaldson with the rebound. She'll miss that one. Zimmelman gives it to Harsh. Harsh picks up her dribble. Gives it. Zimmelman open three. Splashes that one. Heard the net snap with my headphones on here, Pete. Lady Warriors draw a foul there on Addison Zimmelman. It'll be her first, team first. Foul uh, number 13, Addison Zippelman. Her first, team first. Lady Warriors do an impressive job at getting, uh, at breaking that press. Smith to start the offense. Minute 30 to go. 11 point advantage for the Lady Comets. Smith, three on the way. That was just off the mark. Now Zimpleman's got it. She'll bring it down quick. She looks to take it all the way. She'll pass it out to Douglas. Douglas, jumper off the mark. Zimpleman with the rebound. She'll kick it out to Harsh. Deep two again off the mark. Douglas is going to tie up with Musil. That would be a jump ball with Lady Warriors retaining possession. Lady Warriors break the press once again. Deep two. That one's banked in. That's the Warriors' first score in something like five minutes. Big scoring run for the Comets. Zippelman deep three. That one's almost banked in off the mark. Harsh with the rebound, though. She's going to dribble out of it. She's going to pick up her dribble, give it to Scales. Scales. Gonna draw a foul. Close line there by Laney Musil. Her first. Foul team third. Musil getting a little tired, it looks like. What that uh, hard man defense she's putting on is gonna do. Lob pass into Scales. Scales is gonna drive. She'll go to put that one in. She'll get fouled as she goes up. Foul there on number 30, Caden Hanley, her first, team fourth. First free throw falls. 10 point advantage for the Lady Comets with 22 to go. Second free throw falls. That's another thing that the Lady Comets were missing last week. Yeah, especially that first quarter. Uh, Isabel Scales, I think, went one for four in the first quarter. Very uncharacteristic. Under 20 left to play in the first. Lady Comets in a 2-3 zone. Lady Warriors get it down into the post. Musil deep two off the mark. Hander Leiter with the rebound. She'll pull it out with six. She's going to get stolen by Smith. Smith layup at the buzzer off the mark, and that's not going to get her time. Hanley doesn't get a chance to put it in before the buzzer goes off. Well, at the end of one, it's Comets 19, Warriors 8. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball on RTC TV 4.
Lady Comets moves the ball around. Zilfelman thinks about a deep two, doesn't take it. Lady Warriors have switched to a zone as opposed to the zone and one. Pass into Scales. She's too far into the basket. Great open look there for the Lady Comets. Just couldn't get it to fall. Great pressure on that return there by Scales. Number 12, Kiara Springer in for the Lady Warriors. Musil gives it down to Hanley. Hanley oh, shot in and in out. Ow, that's... Douglas pulls down the rebound. She's going to slow it up. Hinder ladder near side. Douglas using a ball screen. screen. Henderlider thinks about it too. Takes a dribble, puts it up off the mark. Hanley gets it down quickly to Musil. She'll drive. She'll put that one up and it won't fall. She'll get two shots at the line though. Foul there on number four, Macy Henderlider. Picking up her first, team first. First shot up and off the mark for Musil. Goes one for two. Brings the lead down to a 10 point lead. Interlighter, open on the wing. She'll give it to Douglas. Back to Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter uses a ball screen there. She'll pick up her dribble, give it to Zimpleman. Zimpleman three off the mark. Scales with the rebound. She'll drive. She'll put that one up for two, and that one's off the mark. Loose ball around. It's going to be ball on the ground, and then they're going to tie up with it. Jump ball is going to go to the Warriors. Smith back in for the Lady Warriors. Harsh for the Comets. Long pass. Out of bounds. Looks like a little bit of miscommunication there since that one flying out of bounds. Lady Comets with the ball. Lady Warriors not able to do anything off of the jump ball. Douglas drives, kicks. Douglas near side gives it to Scales. Scales takes a dribble. She'll pick it up, give it to Zimpleman. Douglas, Douglas, three on the way. That one's in for three. Splashed it. Musil kicks to Hanley. Hanley gives it to Springer. That one's going to be off the mark, though. Finky with the rebound. Long pass down to Douglas. It's going to be out off of Musil as uh, she gets a hand on that pass. Harsh gets the inbound with five minutes to go in the first half. Lady Comets working against a tough Lady Warriors defense. Scales getting trapped. She'll get it out to Douglas. And Smith will get a hand on that one. She'll give it to Hanley. And Hanley's going to get an open layup down here at the end. And she'll put it in for two. Free two points there for the Lady Warriors. Warriors now... Bringing that lead back down, trying to get it inside of a double-digit lead. Harsh drive. She's going to get fouled there on the baseline. Foul number 11, Emily Smith, picking up her first, team first. And Coach Douglas going to take her timeout here. 
full timeout. We're going to step away and thank our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball on RTC TV. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Douglas using every possible moment of that timeout. Makes sense since he caught it. Just over half of the second quarter remaining. Annie Harsh struggling to find an inbound target. Gets it into Addison Zimpleman. Douglas near side, she'll kick to Zimpleman. Zimpleman gives it to Harsh. Moving the ball around. Zimpleman far side. Half of the second quarter gone. Pass down into Finky down low. She's going to get her shot blocked and Haley's going to come down with the ball. Lady Warriors moving it quick. Pass tip by Scales. Scales is going to be... She, her foot was on the line as she swatted the ball. Oh, wait, no. No. Oh, yeah. no the officials that... have recommunicated and changed that initial call. Initially, they called it out off Scales. She but was able to knock it off of one of the North Miami players. Baseline ref didn't have a great angle, but... We would have been okay with either call because we couldn't really tell over here. Absolutely not. Harsh dribbles, gets trapped. She's going to pick it up, give it to Douglas. Harsh kicks the scale, scales the Thomas. Thomas deep two off the mark. Harsh gets the rebound though. Zimbleman deep two. That one's off the mark. Thomas with the rebound. She's going to get fouled. Foul on number 21, Kaden Donaldson picking up her third. Team second. And Olivia Thomas will go to the line for two. Free three throw. Rolls around the rim. Kiara Springer back in for the Warriors. Donaldson gets a break, sitting on three fouls. Half of the second to go. Yeah, I figured she'd have to come out even with this small Warriors team and Thomas will sink the fret second free throw. Long pass in, Masters has it. She'll kick to Musel, to Smith, Smith. Great ball movement there to break that defense. Swing her shot long, but Hanley gets it and she'll draw a foul. Looks like that's going to be on Zimpleman. No, 22, Douglas picking up her first, team second. Hanley at the line to shoot two. She's been a decent shooter tonight the rest of the floor. For three throw falls. Following that up at the charity stripe. Goes two for two with some lucky bounce there. 10 point lead for the Lady Comets with three to go. Douglas, top of the key. Give it to Zimpleman near side. Back to Douglas, Douglas thinks about it. She'll drive, kick to Thomas. Thomas open two. That one's gonna be off the mark. Scales can't come down with it. Springer will. Now Lady Warriors moving the ball quick. Springer loses that one through her hands. Is that the girl that threw up on the court? I don't remember. I think it is. Let's hope we don't have another one of those. Yeah. Harsh. Hanley playing great defense against her. She's going to get a hand. Hanley will get a hand on that pass. Now she's going to have it against Thomas. She drives, puts that one up for two off the mark. Thomas Masters can't come down with that rebound, though. Gets the rebound. Now pass into Hanley. A little too long. North Miami's coach has to be getting frustrated with those swats out of bounds. I thought Zimbabwe took an extra step there before she put the ball on the ground. Defense, 
Douglas dribbling out of pressure. She'll give it to Harsh. To Douglas. Douglas three on the way. Almost banks that one in off the mark though. Thomas gives it down to Scales. Shot on the way. That one's in for two. Scales with her first make of the night from the floor. She's been under heavy pressure this entire game. Uh, in fact, spent most of the first quarter with, I believe it was uh, Laney Musil just riding her. Hanley mishandles that one. She'll get it out to Masters, though. Now Lady Warriors move the ball. Smith drives. She'll put that one up off the mark. There's Springer comes hatchet. down with it, though. And we're going to get a foul on Olivia Thomas down here. There was some hatchet on that rebound. That's Thomas picking up her first, team third. Lady Comets with some really good foul management here. Hanley shot off the mark there. And it'll go out of bounds off of North Miami. Zeppelin bringing it up. One minute left to play in the half. Harsh had an open look, didn't take it. She can have another one in the corner, three on the way. That one's off the mark. Put that one long. Lady Warriors move the ball up quick. Musil three on the way. That one's off the mark. Lady comes here and box out. And we're going to get a foul here. Foul on number 12, Kiara Springer. Her first, team third. Zimplin to bring it up with 40 to go. Don't know if ladies will look for the last shot here or not. We'll know pretty quickly. Feels like the smart play. Pat Ooh. stolen out of Harsh's hands. Now Smith is going to fall. But she'll get it out to Musil. Musil will bring it down quick. Hanley, she'll drive, kick to Musil again. Musil at the paint, she'll get fouled as she goes up. Foul there on number 11, Isabel Scales. Her first, team fourth. Musil went one for two last time. This is the first. Donaldson enters for the Lady Warriors. Surely she can't pick up a fourth foul in 16 seconds. Uh, I mean, not with that attitude, of course. Second free throw up, and it will roll in and out. Scales comes down with the rebound. I'm surprised there wasn't an over-the-back call on that rebound. Thomas mishandles the pass down low. She's going to get it back, though, and they're going to tie up with the Lady Comets still get the ball. North Miami number 20, Braylon Carell checking in for the Lady Warriors. She's going to check in for Donaldson. Lady Warriors got a little worried there. Long pass into Scales. She'll come down with it. She's going to use a screen there. Now Zimpleman from the free throw line for two. That one falls in beautifully. And at the end of two, Lady Comets 27, Lady Warriors 13. We'll be back after a few words from our sponsors with some first half stats. You're watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC TV4. Starters back in for both teams. Musil trap, she'll get it out to Hanley, down to Donaldson. She's gonna get stolen out of her hands. Scales is gonna have it. Zimpleman drives, kicks, definitely walked there. <laughs> that was more than a walk. That was uh She was she was trying to take a trip. <laughs> that one looked like a uh looked like a proclaimer song. 
Musil brings it up. Hanley, open three. That one falls. Well, if you're the Lady Warriors, that's certainly how you wanted to start the half. Hinderletter, far side. She'll kick to Zimpleman. Zimpleman will drive. Pull it out, pick up her dribble. Douglas nearly started moving before she started walking or dribbling that time. Uh, shot swatted out of bounds from behind. Oh. Douglas to inbound. She's going to lob it into Hinderleiter. Had Isabel Scales open on the block. Smith is going to get a hand on that one to be out off of Smith. Well, I didn't think that there was any more intensity that could be had by this Lady Warriors defense, but they have found another gear. Hinderleiter at the free throw line. She's going to tie up with Hanley, and it'll be a jump ball of Comet's possession. Great heads up move there by Hanley to get a hand on that. Scales, deep two, that one falls. Hanley breaks the press, but she'll get fouled. Macy Hinderleiter picking up her second. First foul of the half. Scales knocks that one out of bounds. Into about the six row of bleachers. She was just adamant that that pass was not going to make it to its intended target. Lady Warriors. Far out here. Timeout, Lady Warriors. 30 second timeout. All right, well, we're going to take an opportunity to thank one of our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball on RTC. TV Welcome four. back, ladies and gentlemen. That timeout has expired. Lady Warriors getting the ball in play. Smith close to that half court line. She'll give it to Hanley. Hanley. Gives it back to Smith. Smith drives. She'll put up a left-handed layup. She'll draw a foul. And that foul goes on number 12, Alexa Finke. Her first, team second. First free throw off the back iron. Second free throw off the back iron as well. Scales bringing it down. She's probably carried it there, but she'll give it to Zimplin. Zimplin underhanded layup puts it in for two. 31-16 with six to go in the third. Surprise Hinderleiter didn't get called for a reach there. That's going to be a two put in by Donaldson. Donaldson, of course, coming in with some foul trouble here. Zilflin at the baseline. She'll kick to Hinderleiter. He'll kick to Douglas. Douglas, three on the way. Boom, baby. That one's in for three. Lady Warriors break the press. Now Smith, the near wing. Musil, top of the key. Actually at center circle. Lady Warriors looking for an open lane. Hanley gets it. She'll give it to Masters. Masters left-handed layup off the mark. Scales with the rebound. Scales brings it down quick. She'll go up with it. She'll she got swatted. Now loose ball. Zimbleman has it. Scales has it. Scales open layup. She puts it in for two. Now Lady Warriors break the press quick. Zimbleman gets a hand on it. Donaldson will grab it though. Put it in for two.
Cross court pass is gonna be to Coach Douglas. He was calling for the pass, but I think he wanted it to go to Hinderleiter, not to Zeller. <laughs> or sorry, Douglas, sorry, sorry. Well, it went to a Douglas. It wasn't the right Douglas, though. <laughs> now, Musil will bring it up for the Lady Warriors. In fairness, when you're out of bounds by the chairs, you are completely open for a pass at almost any given time. Hanley, near wing. Lady Warriors still looking for the open leg. Lob pass into the post. to be out of bounds off the Lady Comets. Tip there by Alexa Finke. Probably a good play, though, seeing how Caden Donaldson has gone two for two with her last two positions down at oh, the post. Hanley, open shot. That one's going to fall after she gets a couple lucky rolls. Coach Douglas not happy. He's calling timeout. I'm guessing it's going to be a 30. Yep, and that still gives us time to stop, step away and thank a sponsor. This is Lady Comets Basketball on RTC. TV. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Comets Basketball after Hanley got an open look on the inbounds. Half of the third is gone. Lady Comets maintaining currently a 14-point advantage. Scales has it. She's going to dribble in between two. She's going to draw a foul here. Foul there on number 30. Caden Hanley picking up her second. Team's first here in the half. Olivia Thomas coming back in for the Comets. Douglas. Takes a dribble, puts it up for two off the mark. Lady Warriors move the ball down quick. Musil gonna almost get trapped. Scales steals the pass. She's gonna go up for two, get swatted from behind. Smith was on her hip the whole way there. Great athleticism and body control by Smith to go all ball on that. Scales breaks the trap. Zimpleman thinks about the three, drives, kicks. Harsh thinks about the three. Now Douglas drives. She'll take it all the way. Left hand layup falls with the foul. That might be on Donaldson giving her her fourth. Yeah. It is. In house announcer struggled with that one. <laughs> So the, yeah, Springer back in for the Warriors. Donaldson going to sit down probably for the better part of eight minutes. Maybe. Well, Donaldson was pretty key on the ladies Warriors scoring in this Three quarter. In and out. Zimbleman gets the rebound. Her shot's at, uh, off the mark. She'll get her own rebound again, but she'll get swatted out of bounds on that one. Lady Comets, though, with possession still. Clean swat. Harsh looking for the inbound into Scales, who gets hatched it on that shot. Foul there going to be on Musil, picking up her second, team third. Foul number 10, Lady Musil, her second, team third. Isabel Scales. Three quick fouls for the Lady Warriors. Scales, first free throw off the front of the iron. Second free throw falls. Lady Warriors looking to break the press. Scales gets the steal. She's going to kick Douglas. She'll take a dribble, put it up for two off the mark. Thomas is going to save it. To be rolling out of bounds off of the Lady Comets. I think that that was. Uh, I, I don't think that was accurate. Oh, they're, 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 and the referee is now changing his call and agreeing. Well, he, he called black, and the other two refs almost looked at him confused, like what was going on. But Scales gets the inbound. She's going to dribble all the way, kick the harsh, harsh three on the way, way off the mark. 
Missed the rim by a good foot. Now Smith to Hanley. Hanley's going to drive. She'll kick the good dump Usel. there. Great pass there. Musil put that one in for two. 39 to 24. Lady Comets lead with 240 to go in the third. Douglas near side. She won't take the three. She'll dribble. She'll take it all the way in. She'll lose it. She's going to grab it in between the legs. We got a timeout here by Coach Douglas to save the possession. He's asking if he's got a 30 left. No, he's going to take a full. We're going to step away and thank a couple of sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball on RTC TV 4. Lady Comets looking inbound. Lob pass into Scales. That She's was gonna get it. Almost over Scales' head, even with her vertical. Hinderleiter puts that one up for two off the mark. Springer with the rebound. Long pass in. Scales gets a hand on it. Zimmelman's gonna grab it. She's gonna get trapped. Give it to Harsh. Harsh is gonna move it to Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter back to Harsh. Harsh pulls it out. Gives it back to Hinderleiter. Pass into the paint. Scales with it. She's gonna go up. She's gonna draw a foul. Got brutalized down there. Foul there on number 10, Lady Musil, picking up her third, team fourth. Well, after Scales got the ball, all of the Warriors condensed onto <laughs> her, so they all, yeah. all were right there. First free throw off the front of the iron once again. Next Warrior foul will put the Lady Comets into the bonus. And scales the second free throw falls. And it looks like they're going to drop out of the press. Maybe, no. Give me a two. Oh, oh, yes, they will. Douglas back in for the Lady Comets. They, they did keep a press at the half court line. Hanley puts that one up way too hard. She gets her rebound, though. Now Masters with it. She's going to miss. Zimmerman pulls down the rebound. Springer on her hip. Pass down to Douglas. She's going to step out of bounds before she can save it. <laughs> Masters bringing it up for the Lady Comets. Warriors. Warriors. That was a bad one. Not even close to the same color. It's going to be a foul on uh, Thomas, Thomas. Picking up her second, team third. Scales back in for the Comets. I apologize. That was horrendous by me. <laughs> We're going to get a foul. It's going to be a foul on Harsh, I believe. That's correct. Harsh picking up her first. Team fourth. Either team now. Next foul puts their opponent in the bonus. Lob pass into Masters. Three on the way. Off the mark. That one's going to go out of bounds. Harsh gives it to Douglas who gets trapped here. She's getting dribble through it. She's going to get fouled by Smith. That will send her to the line to shoot two. Smith picking up her second there. First shot up and in. That was a textbook free throw, Pete. Addison Zimpleman back in for the Comets. Zimpleman comes back in for the Comets. You cannot ask for any better than that. And the second one falls too. Lady Warriors working against this 2-3 zone of the Lady Comets. Smith drives, kicks to Hanley. Hanley puts that one up for two off the mark. She gets her own rebound, puts that one up for two and gets a lucky roll to fall. 
Zimmerman passing to Harsh. Under a get minute. trapped. She's fighting for it. It's going to be a jump ball. Lady Warriors possession. Jump ball possession to Lady Warriors. Lady Comets have got to stay f away from the uh, from any out of bounds line or the half court line. Yeah, those those Lady Warriors traps have been devastating. That third defender really helps out. Ooh, she got away with a walk there, Pete. Both teams have. And that useful shot falls for two. I wouldn't have bet on that shot, but... 42-28, Scales trips over the ball. <laughs> she tries to save it with her foot. Gives her defenders time to get back down. She's going to be knocked out of Harsh's hands. Springer's going to get fouled by Zimbleman. Scales trying to do a little too much there. Zimpleman picking up her second there, by the way. Scales trying to do too much by dribbling through the trap instead of finding an open teammate. First free throw falls for Springer. Second free throw falls. Two perfect free throws. And just like that, Lady Comets lead trim from 18 back down to 12. Once again, can't rest on your laurels. We've seen how quickly a lead can evaporate here in the launching pad. That'll be a kick ball. Lady Warriors defense getting extra aggressive. We're under 10 seconds left here in the third quarter. Seven to go, Lady Comets lead by 12. Pass to Thomas, the harsh, harsh. Thinks about the three, doesn't take it. Zimplin will take a deep three off the mark. That'll end the third quarter. At the end of three, Comets 42, Warriors 30. We'll be back for fourth quarter action here at Caston High School on RTC TV 4. Lady Ooh. Comets with possession here. Lady Comets trying to stay away from getting trapped. Zimpleman near side. Back to Zimpleman. She'll kick the... Oh, that was an obvious shove. No call on that. Eh, go for the ball. We'll be aight. It'll be aight. Hanley, deep three. Wide open. She'll put that one in for three. Brings the lead down to single digits. For the first time since... The first quarter. Lady Comets moving the ball. The tough defense that North Miami has brought in the fourth. And Hanley will get a steal there. Two possessions, two turnovers. Won't be long before Coach Douglas is using one of his remaining timeouts, I don't think. Hanley had an open look. She'll take it to the free throw line off the mark. Harsh gets the rebound. Three possessions, three turnovers. Terrible, terrible situational awareness on the part of Fanky there. Yeah, but Scales got to know as a passer that she's got to be looking for her to throw that. Now Smith near side, she'll kick to Masters, to Musil. Musil loses it. Zimpleman pulls it out. She's going to drive. Kick to Douglas. Douglas in the post. She'll put that one up right-handed on the left side of the basket. Surprised that one fell in. Musil kicks the Masters. Hanley gets triple team. Musil open look. She'll get fouled. Finky there picking up her second, first. team first. Musil at the line with two shots. 25% shooter so far tonight. I had to open my mouth. I'm sure she'll make this one now. Off the mark. 21, Kaden Donaldson. Kaden Donaldson back in for the Lady Warriors. Donaldson with only one foul to give before she sits down for the night. 
Well, she was out for about five minutes. I said the better part of eight. The useful second free throw does fall. For ten point lead for the Lady Comets, 44-34. Scales in trouble. She'll give it to Zimpleman. Zimpleman to Harsh. Harsh open look, doesn't take it. She'll give it to Scales. Scales jumper from the elbow. That one falls for two. Hanley, she'll drive, kick to Musil. Musil open three. Off the mark. Zimpleman gets the rebound. She's going to get trapped, though. We're going to get a foul, though. Foul on number 10, Lady Musil. She picks up her fourth. Team first here in the fourth. Two key Lady Warriors now with four fouls. Scales, jumper off the mark. Finky goes up for it. Can't get it. Be out off of Finky. It is a shame that Finky couldn't come down with that rebound, but she at least broke the flow of potential play. Smith cross court to Musil. Hanley open three. Banks that one in. 826 on a Thursday, and the bank is still open. Scales picks up her dribble, misses an open Maddie Douglas down low. Comments break it. Zimpleman drives. She'll lose it. Hanley's going to bring it all the way down. She's going to put that one up for two off the mark. Fight for the rebound. It's going to be out off of Maddie Douglas, Lady Warriors possession. Macy Henderleiter coming back in for the comments. Annie Harsh gets a break. Lob pass into Masters. Musil in the corner. Three falls. Six point lead for the Lady Comets with 4.45 to go in the game. Zeppelin down into Douglas near corner. Douglas throws it into the lap of Hanley. Hanley goes up against Scale. She'll put that layup into two. Now Coach Douglas is going to take a timeout here. I'm surprised it took him this long to use that timeout. Uh, we're going to step away and thank our sponsors. We're gone for about a minute. You're watching Lady Comets basketball on RTC TV. Welcome Four. back, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Comets lead been chipped away down to just four points. Two possession game with four and a half minutes left. Lady Warriors defense just trapping machine right now. Scales misses that one. Hanley passes it into the lap of Douglas as she gets her pocket picked and then be out of bounds off of the Warriors. Lady Comets basketball still. This absolutely could come right down to the wire. Looks like Smith got poked in the eye. Oh, I think she lost a contact pee. That's even worse. Coach Douglas taking advantage of this to uh, write up a quick play. He at least told Finky something to do. Zimpleman drives, puts that one in for two. Finky had sealed Masters, though. She was open down there. Lady Warriors moving the ball quick. Donaldson kicks out to Masters. Hanley cross court to Musil. Smith drives, she'll pass it to Donaldson. Donaldson gonna be stepping out of bounds before she saves it. What are you doing? Number three, Olivia Thomas back in for the Olivia Lady Thomas Comets. checks back in for the Comets. A little late on the buzzer from our 
scoreboard operator in there. Ball and pass to Hinderleiter. Should have been stolen, but it wasn't. That pass to uh, Douglas is about the same, and they're going to call a backcourt violation. Comets fans were looking for a tip call there. Lady Warriors down six with 3.30 to go. Now with the Lady Warriors three point percentage here tonight could absolutely be. Thomas gets the rebound after a missed shot. Scales gets trapped. She's gonna dribble out of it though. She's gonna get fouled from behind. Shove there goes on number 30, Caden Hanley, picking up her third. Team second. Clean fourth quarter so far, but I'm going to guess those fouls are going to go up. Real I believe they're quick. going to pile up in a hurry as we're crossing this three minute mark. Thomas Seal Smith. Douglas wasn't looking for it though. Hinderleiter drives. They're going to call that a jump ball. Comets will keep it though. No hit. It's uh, our scoreboard is uh, off. All right. Well, the, the official one said Warrior basketball. It will be Warrior basketball. Smith looking for a screen. Looks like she'll kick to Musil. Musil drives, kicks Hanley wide open. She'll put that one in for two. Four point lead for the Lady Comets. Scales lobs it to Douglas. Zimpleman drives. She'll put that one up way too hard off the basket. Now Hanley, she's going to slow it down. Musil, one dribble, puts that one up for two off the mark. Zimpleman comes down with the rebound. Smith tries to steal it, can't get it. Zimpleman kicks the Hinderleiter. To scale, scales, goes up for it off the mark. She's gonna get fouled there in the paint. I think that might be Donaldson's fifth. No, that's on number 11, Smith. Smith picks up her third, team third. First free throw good. falls. Nice crispy snap of the net with that one. Kiara Springer comes back in for the Warriors. Scale second free throw falls. Lady Comets back to full court pressure. Lady Warriors break the press. Donaldson's gonna get it. Her shot's gonna miss. Scales goes over top of Thomas to get that. They're gonna tie up with it down there. The Lady Comets basketball. Zimpleman gets it. She's going to give it to Scales Douglas. Comets break the press. Douglas goes up. She's going to get fouled hard. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Smith will pick up her fourth. And that's the fourth Warriors foul here in the quarter. I'm not sure if that was the smartest move there by Douglas to drive in there. She didn't. She. I mean, there was two or three Warriors sitting in the paint. And with, a, with how these teams have been playing, as much time as you can run off, the better. First three throws off the mark. Second free throw doesn't fall either. Both free throws missed. Gives the Lady Warriors an opportunity here. Useful drives, kicks to Hanley. Now Hanley drives, open lane. She's gonna miss that one. Hinderleiter comes down with it. She's gonna draw a foul here. Don't know who that'll be on. But yeah. she'll definitely Hanley. go to the line. Hanley now sitting on four fouls. 
That is three Warriors, four. Hanley, Donaldson, Smith, and Musil all with four fouls. Springer's the only one that can foul now and, you know, stay Who's in the game. And then the shot falls. Okay. Now Masters comes in. Not for any of the Warriors with four fouls, though. <laughs> hey, there's only 90 seconds left on the clock, Pete. It's true. Second free throw falls. What's the chances all four of them foul out with you know, only 90 seconds to go? Um, given the aggression we've seen, pretty high. Masters kicks to Hanley. Hanley puts that one up for two. 46-52. Minute 16 to go. Hanley gets a hand on that. She'll save it. Musil has it. Musil just gets it stolen by Scales. Now Zimpleman gets it. She's going to kick it to nobody in the corner. Could have probably been called for a travel. The Lady Comet shooting themselves in the foot here towards the end of this ball game. In fairness, right now, all they need to do is run time off the clock. 60 seconds remain here. Lady Comets with a six-point advantage. Smith was close to traveling there. She, and she almost threw it to Musil, who was still out of bounds. But here we go. Masters with 50 to go. Two threes will tie it up. Three twos will tie it up. Masters has it. She'll wow. kick back door to Musil. That was a couple of missed Hanley travels. Open three. That one's off the mark. Scales goes up for it. She'll get it. She's getting mugged down there. It's going to be another foul. I think that'll be on number one, though. Vic Masters, the only person on the floor who could foul, is the one who does foul. However, does send Isabel Scales to the line to shoot two. First free throw off the mark. Still a two possession ball game here. Second free throw is up and good. Puts this at a seven point advantage for the Lady Comets. Lady, Lady Comets the just need to play clean defense. Musil gets away with an extra step there. Douglas is going to steal it, though. And instead of pulling it out, she's going to take it all the way, put that in for two, and that might seal it. Smith to Hanley. Hanley three on the way off the mark. Scales with the rebound. And all she's got to do is run clock. Smith trying to go for it. And that's going to end it here at the launching pad. And your final here, 55-46, Lady Commons victory. We're going to step away, say thank you to our wonderful sponsors. We'll be back for a wrap-up and an interview with Coach Douglas. You're watching Lady Commons basketball here on RTC TV 4.